What is up, East Oregon? This is Dodzy, and this is your sports show for Thursday, September 9th, 2021. It's going to be a quick one today. Um, I'm going to get through this real quick, get a guest on, and get out of here. This is all brought to you by Buffalo Peak Golf Course. Out in Union, you take the Union Highway, go through town. There's a big blue sign on the right. Go left up the hill, and you'll hit this beautiful 18-hole, just immaculately well-kept golf course. Dana is doing a great job out there. It's a, it's, it's a challenging, fun course, and I encourage you to give it a try. Meet me at the peak, Buffalo Peak Golf Course. Today, uh, let's see, yesterday the women's soccer game for EOU against Whitman got canceled because of air quality. Um, I don't think they'll make up that game as it was just an added game. They were going to play a D3 uh, team. And and so this weekend for EOU volleyball, tomorrow night, Walla Walla. Saturday, Lewis and Clark State, EOU football's off. Um, I just heard that we got the contract for the high school for streaming the home games, which is exciting. So I'll be on the call for those. Listen, businesses, if you see this and you're interested, we have a really good deal for you to advertise during this stream, and it'll be seen by a lot of people. Email me or give me a call if you know my number. Email me, though, if you don't. Kyle at eoalive.tv. And I'll get you hooked up with a really good deal. I understand things are tight with COVID and everything, so we'll we'll make it work. Um, it's super exciting, too. I mean, I can't wait. I love football. I love Friday Night Lights. It's going to be cool. My diet. Metrum MD, man, uh, Dr. Kopp and his team, they do great things. I mean, I went in there kind of, you know, like, I don't know what's going on. You know, I was a little bit worried. Um, but they've made me feel so comfortable with it. I've lost over 40 pounds. It starts with a consultation. And basically, you know, you either go to the website or you go in there and you do a full consult and they go through the program with you and they go over the prices and all that stuff. And the prices are not bad. Trust me on this. When I say that the money that I was spending on groceries and going out to eat is about the same as it costs to do this program. After you get signed up for the program, you get your food right there in-house. You go and you get uh, EKG. They take care of you. I mean, they run you through all this stuff in order to make sure that it's safe for you to be on this diet. And then it's just go time. And you check in once a week. You get weighed. You get a vitamin B12 shot. So if you need to lose five pounds or if you need to lose 100 pounds, it doesn't matter. They have the program for you. If you have an ailment that is weight-related, I urge you to go get a consultation at Metrim MD right here in LeGrand, 4th in Washington. You can't miss it. There's a big sign that says Metrim MD. The team there, Dr. Kopp and the ladies that work for him are phenomenal. And like I said, I mean, it, it's, it's not as hard as it seems. And I'm a walking example of that, 40-plus pounds down. Metro MD right here in LeGrand. My guest for today, she is an incoming recruit onto Coach P's lacrosse team. We're super excited to have her at Eastern Oregon, and, and it's going to be awesome. It, she's going to have a great experience. She's actually probably going to teach me a little bit about lacrosse as I'm still learning. She's incoming recruit Ashley Lobb. Here it is. Ashley, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. So um, I always like to start with this question. Why EOU? Um, that's a, such a broad question. But honestly, I came to EOU for the lacrosse program, which is still new. Um, Coach P started it last year. And she actually recruited me to Adams State. Um, that was her first college that she coached at. So um, I was also her first signee ever out of all of her signees. Um, and kind of towards the end of last year, the program at Adams was looking shaky. So I wanted to make sure I was going into a good program, staying on a good program. So I made the decision to transfer. And Coach P just had to recruit me again, and I signed for her again at EOU. <laughs> nice. So 
what uh originally like got you into lacrosse um so that's a funny story actually uh i started playing my sophomore year of high school and my friend hannah <laughs> my best friend she tried it out first and she was like i think you'd love this sport like you just would love it i know you would and so she convinced me to join with her our sophomore year and i finally got like all the gear and everything and um i don't know if you guys know much about lacrosse but gear isn't cheap <laughs> so right. i bought all the stuff for it and then my friend didn't even end up playing that year but i ended up playing anyway just because i did want to try it and then i just fell in love with it so did yeah. you play other sports <laughs> um yeah i've kind of played a little bit of everything growing up so i played um mainly basketball was my main one um, but I've also played soccer, I've ran track, I've done cheerleading, I've done pretty much it all. I've done golf for my high school. <laughs> um, but yeah, after I played lacrosse, that was it. Like that was the only sport I did after that. Yeah, the, lacrosse like on the West Coast is not as prevalent on the East Coast as you are, as I'm sure you know already. I mean, me growing up, I grew up in Southern California and and the only people that played lacrosse in Southern California were the rich schools, you know, like, it, like you said, it's expensive. Like the gear's expensive. Um, wh what position do you play? Um, I'm a defender. I mainly played defense all through high school and that's what I was recruited for. But I, since playing in college, I can play anywhere on the field. I've played, I have game time experience in every position except for goalie. Yeah. Um, um, defense yeah. wins championships. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I, I'm a I'm a big fan of defense on in all sports: football, uh, basketball, lacrosse, um, baseball. Uh, uh, I pitched in college, so the defensive mindset is just uh, if if, the, if you don't give up any runs or goals, you win. Yeah, it's definitely. I don't know. It's it's the part of the game that I feel like can go unappreciated sometimes, but it's definitely. One of the most important parts, you're protecting your goalie. You you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't want to let that goalie get too many uh, sh shots taken on him. I mean, because eventually something's going to go in. Yeah, exactly. So this last year, this COVID year, you, you, you're coming in as a junior. So have you played three years already in college? Um, this, this will be my third year. So my first year... Um, so seasons in uh, spring. So my first year was when COVID really hit. So we got about three games in and then season got canceled. Um, RMAC canceled it for us. So um, just like every other sport. And then last year we did get a whole season. It was a little shortened. We didn't have as many games, but we did play a full season, which was nice. It was different. We had to wear masks, you know, different adjustments, but we got it in there. So, but coming in, you're uh, academically you're a junior, but w on paper, wouldn't you be a freshman? Like eligibility wise, uh, if you only played three games your first year, that didn't use up a year of eligibility. It couldn't possibly have. And then yeah. last year, you got you, nobody took a year of eligibility for last year with COVID. Yeah. So eligibility wise, I'm technically. Well, I'm technically a sophomore eligibility wise because they did count the first year for us. Um, but Even with just three they games? got canceled, we got an extra year of eligibility. So I shouldn't say the first year they counted, but last year they did count it. It wasn't a okay. championship season, but it was counted as a season. So that was kind of like my freshman season. So this will be my sophomore season. So I have three so, years of eligibility. So yeah, if things go well and you decide that you want to stay, you could technically you could play three years here. Yeah, exactly. Where'd you grow up? Um, so I was born in Virginia, but I mostly grew up in Pueblo. I kind of bounced around a little bit um, because my dad builds construction. So um, that moved us around a lot. The main places I've lived are, well, obviously Virginia, Colorado, Missouri, um, Georgia and a bunch, a bunch of the South. <laughs> oh, wow. You bet you have bounced around a lot. Yeah. But I've lived in Pueblo since I was about nine. So mostly I grew up here. What are your uh, goals coming in? I mean, like you, uh, we talked a little bit before and you talked about 
you've met one teammate and you've had a zoom call with the others uh like talk about the like your goals like meshing with your team and then just your goals for the season as well i think my main goal coming in is just to help build good leadership on the team because um, lacrosse is such a new sport that it's hard to grow the game so like the fact that this program is so new is so um, shaky if that makes sense so i want to help build like a strong foundation for the rest of the time that hopefully forever hopefully the program's around forever but um the start is like where you make it its strongest so um, I really want to come in and try and be a good leader because even though I am a transfer, I'm still one of the oldest girls on the team. So I want to show my experience and help the rest of the girls, you know, not only transition to college, but prove what it's like to be a, a student athlete. Because honestly, coming in, I didn't when I was going to college, I didn't think I was going to be a student athlete. I didn't even consider playing lacrosse at first. And until Coach P recruited me at the end of my senior season in high school, um, I didn't even think it was a realistic option. So I want to have that support for our freshmen and everybody else coming in. Um, so those are my team goals. And then personally, I don't know. I just <laughs> want to come in and kill it my first year at EOU and prove that even though I came from a small school in Colorado, like I'm not messing around here. <laughs> Nice. Uh, EOU uh, athletics is a really good culture. You'll, you'll find that out real fast. There's a lot of really good support. You know, like the, the people up there are super supportive all the way from the president of the university down to the janitors. Like seriously, like these guys, they're, they're just all about the student athletes uh, in that athletic department. And, and you'll, you'll see real fast. Um, what, what, so you talk about, you know, coming in and, you know, being a leader and, and how, how, how do you see that happening? You know, like that's a tough role, especially as a transfer student, you have some girls that have already been on the team. What angle, what angle do you take there? Hmm. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I just want to come in and make sure I'm showing support to all my teammates and not coming in in a cocky way, but coming in in the most supportive way that I can, because um, I know last season was a struggle and they lost a lot of girls, um, which isn't a problem. Like not everybody's cut out to come and play college sports. Um, and so I just want to come in and make sure I can support all my teammates in every way that I can and kind of get the leadership that way, showing that um, you know, if you're having a bad day, let's go for a run together. Talk to me. What's going on? Things like that. I don't just want to be there during the sport because I'm also not the most talented player, but I think that I'm talented in a lot of other ways that can really help improve the team. Nice. And and, and confidence is key in that role, too. Just be confident. I mean, it's, yeah. if you show if you exude confidence, it rubs off on other people. Like, yeah, really quick. Do you have your phone or are you on it right now? Are you using your phone or do you have it next to you? It's next to me. Okay, get, open it up and tell me what the first song is on your playlist. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, the one that I was playing when I was a, that was playing when I left the gym was um, "Fair Trade" by Drake. It's one of his new songs. I, I've heard it. Um, yeah. They uh, the lacrosse team they like uh, pop smoke. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're all about the pop smoke they, they got that that playing all the time the, uh kiana she she messaged me the other day because somebody oh uh, the football player i had on the other day he he had a pop smoke song and i played it and it was like the i really think that you're so, you know that something yeah. special song and i said you know zach donato you know like i don't pick these songs like this isn't like a love song you know but and then she said she messaged me and she's like, that's a, that's a good song. And I said, I don't disagree with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just, I, it, it was, you know, it was just one of those weird, you know? So, uh, with, with EOU, you're, you're moving here. What in a, a week or two, where are you yeah. going to live? Are you going to live in the dorms? You're going to live in a house. You got a place. 
Um, yeah, so I'm moving next week and I'm moving in with some other athletes. Well, at least one other athlete, but we're living on a house in a house off campus, but it's walking distance and yeah, there'll be about four of us in the house. So it'll be interesting, but it'll be good. Are you um, going to try to find a job or do you, are you going to be good without a job? Yeah, I'm going to try and find at least one job, um, whether it's work study or off campus. I've mostly done work study since I've been in college, so um, I don't know, but I'm trying to keep my options open because I've also always lived on campus, so now I'm living off campus. Um, so I don't know, kind of just whatever comes my way. I've been trying to look, but I don't, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Something though. Um, what are you going to school for? What are you, what's your degree? I'm a biology major and I want to go to PA school to be a physician's assistant. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the end goal. You got a lot of school left then. Yeah, I got the rest of my undergrad and then about three or four years of grad school. Yeah, that's that's that, that's <laughs> that's a big commitment. That's big goal. Yeah. <laughs> what what makes you want to be a, a PA? Um, I've always just had an interest in the medical field. Um, starting from pretty young, but I didn't never really know what I wanted to do. So um, coming into college, I started as a biology major with the options of going to med school, PA school, kind of just whatever. And then I started researching more my freshman year and um, looking into actual career paths and PA just kind of um, suits all the things I want to do as a healthcare worker. So that's my goal right now. Nice. Uh, do you like pineapple on pizza? Oh, yeah. Pineapple Ugh. and Canadian bacon. Ugh. Come on. You're in, you're you in can't the, even you're lie in the like that. Minority you can't even group. lie like that. It, uh, do you like it in, in like uh, stir fry too? You like it like, you know how like sometimes in the sweet and sour sauce, there's pineapple in there? Mm, mm, kind of depends. I don't. I don't think I've ever had it like that, honestly. Yeah. I just don't like warm pineapple. I like it cold. I think it's awesome oh, on cottage cheese. Ew, I hate cottage cheese. <laughs> hey, cottage to cheese each their own. <laughs> I, and I hate warm pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'll so we'll get you one more question and then we'll get you out of here. This is going to be a kind of a tough one, but think about it if you have to. Okay. Um, if at this point in your life, if they were going to write a book about your life, what would the title of the book be? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It could be something simple like Ashley's accomplishments or something. Hey, that works. I mean, <laughs> something that, simple, that works. but that works. Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate your time today. Eastern Oregon, this is. Incoming transfer, women's lacrosse, Ashley Lobb. I'm Dodsey. We're out. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ashley. That was awesome. Um, I look forward to watching you girls play. I, I'm, I'm a huge supporter of EOU sports and just local, period. Like I said, it's going to be a short one today. So let me give a little shout out to Buffalo Peak Golf Course. Um, it's a beautiful course. It's well-maintained. Uh, they They – support the community too. I mean, it's a county owned course and Dana has all kinds of events out there, including the Doug Trice Memorial scholarship fund golf tournament, where we raised a lot of money to give to kids in this community. It's just a, a great thing going on out there. Buffalo peak golf course. Meet me at the peak. Eastern Oregon. That's all I got for you on a Thursday. Let's get, let's get to Friday so we can do the Friday dance. I appreciate you. I'm Dodsey, and I'm out.